Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you really easy step by step how to make these beautiful crystal beaded earrings. They're easy to make and I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to create them by yourself and you could use them uh, as an idea for a Christmas present. Okay, so if you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials Amazon links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are 4 by 3 millimeters crystals and you could use Swarovski or Czech crystals or other brand. And here I use 11 seed beads and I use 8 beads in this beautiful golden color. And here I use ear wires, liver bags, but you could use any type of ear wires you like. I use jump rings. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. This is size 10 beading needle, scissors and pliers to attach my jump rings and my ear wires. Okay, that's all I need for this tutorial. Now I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back and in my first step, I'm going to take six of these beautiful crystals. I have here my six on my needle and I'm going to slide those down. Okay, and now I have this and now I'm going to make a knot. And I'm making a knot by making a loop going twice through the loop I've made and pulling. And then I could make one more knot. And now this is what I have. A beautiful circle of six crystals. And then in my next step, I'm going through one of my crystals. And I'm going to take one seed bead. And I'm going through the following crystal. Okay. And I will repeat these steps. Take one, go here, one more, and I will continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, now I have this and now I will go through one of my golden beads and I'm going to take two goldens and I will go back in circle through this golden one. Okay, now I have this. Then I'm going through the following crystal and the following bead. And I'm going to take two goldens and go back. Then I will show you one more time. Okay, two goldens go back in circle through this one here. And I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, now I have this row ready and in my next step I will go here through 
my crystal through this golden here between my two crystals and through one of the newly added seed beads okay now i want to take a golden a crystal and a golden and i will go in the following seed bead just like this and pull then go in the next golden between the crystals and here through the one to the side like this and take one seed bead one crystal and one seed bead and go in the following golden that's on my way and pull then go through the golden that's between the crystals pull to fix your work now go here in this golden and again repeat these steps a golden a crystal and a golden and then go in the following golden and pull and in the next bit okay and to the one at this side okay and now guys i'm going to continue these three more times i'll do this off camera and i'll meet you here at my last step okay guys and now i'm here at my last step and i'm going in this last c bit and i pull okay now i'm going in this bit and now guys i'm ready and i will show you what i'm doing in my next row okay in my next row my goal is to exit through one of my crystals okay like this you see then i'm going here through this golden that's after my crystal take just one eight of golden and go here through those beads through the following golden and through the crystal and then i'm going here in the next one take a golden one eight of golden and go here through this seed bead and through the crystal okay and i'm showing you this one more time go through this seed bead take nato go through the following seed bead and through the crystal okay guys and now do this three more times and when i'm up to here i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and now i'm back here where i'm adding my last ato from this row and in my next step i will do the following thing i'm going here through this 11 o and in the center through the 8 o and now i'm going to take three golden 11 o's and go back in circle through this one here through the 8 o now i have this you see then I'm going through the following 11 now and through the crystal and pulling. Going through this 11 now and through this 8 now. And I'm taking three goldens and I'm going back in circle through this 8 now. Okay. It bends a little bit, but I will fix it in my last step with additional thread path. Okay, now I have this. Then I'm going in the next title 
take three beads and I'm going through this A2 and through the crystal. Okay, now I have this and I'm going to repeat this three more times, guys. And when I'm up to the third part, I will come to tell you how to finish your work. Okay, guys, and now I'm here exiting of my last ato. My thread is here if you don't see it. Okay, and here I will do something differently. I will take 11 ato and 11 -0. And I will go back in circle through this bit, okay, like that. And here I'm adding 8 o instead of 11 o like I did at the other places, because here I'm going to attach my ear wire. But before I do this, I will make an additional thread pad as I promised, okay. I'm going through the crystal, through the 11 o here, and then also through those three beads, I want to make them stay in one direction and not to, to bend and move around. Okay, then I'm going through this 11 0 and through the following 11 0. Okay, don't pull too tight, just gently form them stay in one direction. Okay, then go in the following crystal go here in this 11 0 and gently through those three beads without pulling the thread too hard because it might also make form bending of your work. Okay, just gently go. Okay, and I will continue this and when I'm up to here, I'll be back to tell you how to make a knot and cut your thread. Okay guys, and I gently went around all of my beads here and now I chose a place between those two beads to make a knot. And in order to do this, I'm making here a loop and I'm going once, then I'm going second time through the loop I've made, I pull. And I go here in the following seed bead. And by the way, you could repeat this knot several times. And then in your next step, cut your thread. When you go through the following seed bead, never cut next to a knot. And now my earring is almost ready. But what I need to add is my ear wire. And in order to add it, you see here I am. At this 8 o that I added instead of 11 o And I will open up this jump ring here with my pliers. Okay. And I will put here my ear wire. I will squeeze back like this. Okay. And now guys, my crystal beaded earring is ready. Okay guys, and now my crystal beaded earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this section. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.